I saw a board report for a very large amount for, to a company that I never heard, heard about, and it was a no-bid contract, and I thought that was suspicious. And so I just started by Googling you know, different terms, including Barbara Bird Bennett, soups, and I came up with a hit. And then after that, I just did what all reporters do, just kept digging and digging. What I was told is that there was a process in place when, when officials wanted to do a no-bid deal and that, that the contract went through the process. I think the biggest problem is that Barbara Bird Bennett, in this case, had some influence over the process and that corrupted the process. I think what surprised everybody was how brazen it was, that it was all laid out in emails. I think that, you know, I, I always suspected that there was something fishy going on, but I really did not suspect that, that they would be, um, that they would just put it all out in emails and lay out, lay out the case, basically. The fallout is that right now Chicago Public Schools is in the middle of a financial crisis and public officials are going to be going to Springfield to try and convince lawmakers to give money to, to Chicago Public Schools or to help the, the public schools. And already people downstate think that Chicago in general and the public schools in specific are corrupt and wasteful and I don't think that this helps the argument to public officials. A lot of people will say that this calls for an elected school board. I'm not so sure that I agree with that. However, I think that this does call for some more independent people to be involved in the process, people who are independent of the mayor.